Hey? I said you've got to have money to pay for something. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's like an electric yeah. motor yeah. roller. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of 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 a bit um, oh, I think I'll be right. Yeah, like you say, you need a leak coming off of the Yeah, which we're sort of hoping that, you know, because our management is, is, is it's a, you know, you can't, it's they're, vocal, they're gone a bit berserk actually, so we're sort of hoping that they get rid of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, what is it? It's a, it's a jet kit PHT3 turbine mechanics um, and a Vario uh, Hughes 500 E fuselage built by Colin Caird from Wanganui um, and he kindly lets me fly it, which is very nice of him. Um, Radio Gears the JR 11X, it's got a Skokin 720 I think um, stabilisation system on board and running a, a Futaba 511 tail gyro. Um, yeah, it's a nice helicopter. It's you worth, like it? It's worth a huge amount of money. It makes it nervous when you fly it and it's been oh, a couple of years in the making really. Yep. So, um, getting it working, getting the turbine gearing sorted out so it's got the right head speed and getting the flyby head working and all the bits and pieces you have to struggle with the helicopters. Um, so it's been, yeah, a bit of a learning process, but it's good. It's flying very well now. So what's it worth? Uh, you get change out of 20 grand, but pretty enough for a cup of coffee. And yeah, that's fine. about it. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a big expense of a heli heavy helicopter, so you've got to fly it more like a full-size heli than you do a model. So, you know, if it, you've got to preempt what it's going to do, so if it starts getting a power settle or starts heading downhill, you can't just make the throttle open and fly away like you would with a Raptor or a T-Rex, because it just doesn't have anything spare. You know, the turbine takes a while to spool up, and it doesn't have a lot of that um, residual power that the pot and boom guys do, so... You've got to think about it and just take your time and, and relax, and, which is easier to said than done. Excellent. So who have I been talking to? Brett. Brett who? Brett Cudby from New Plymouth. Thanks, Brett. No problem. It's on the front of the turbine, which is the mm -hmm. standard I go these days.